Hello, my name is Dr. Sam Kazia. I'm the Director and Manager of Cardiovascular Consultants. Today we would like to talk to you about the prevalence of peripheral arterial disease and its association with heart disease. It gives me a great pleasure to introduce Dr. Ramanini who will discuss with us today methods and ways of detecting peripheral arterial disease in our population. Hi, I'm Dr. Raj Ramanini. I'm a an interventional cardiologist, uh, part of cardiovascular consultants. Peripheral arterial disease is present in 20% of patients who are greater than age 55. That's a big number. Unfortunately, majority of this goes undetected because of the various ways this disease presents. Vascular disease is a silent disease, not necessarily shows with symptoms, but the most common symptoms for patients who have peripheral arterial disease in the legs is claudication. Claudication is a manifestation of significant blockages impeding the blood flow to your legs, which manifests itself by tightness in your legs, mostly at the calves, thighs, or hips when you're walking. Those symptoms will resolve immediately at rest. Most peripheral arterial disease situations are managed medically. Walking exercise is very important in improving the blood flow in your legs. Smoking cessation is an essential component of preventing the peripheral arterial disease of progressing. Diet control blood sugar if you have diabetes by taking your medications and watching your diet. Maintaining low cholesterol. The management of heart disease is exactly the same for management for peripheral arterial disease. It is the same disease, it's just a different location. Dr. Ramanini, what are the ways that we can detect and screen our patients for peripheral arterial disease. Screening for peripheral arterial disease is very important. There are multiple reasons for that. First and foremost, if you do have peripheral arterial disease, there are more than likelihood of you having arterial disease in other locations such as in the heart or in the brain or the blood vessels supplying the brain such as carotid arteries. And it is important for us to know this earlier than later to prevent major catastrophes such as heart attacks, strokes, or even if it is an early diagnosis of blockages in the legs, we could prevent ulcer formation and even amputations. The screening is very simple. You can start off with something like ABI, which is also called ankle brachial index, which is nothing but taking blood pressures in your arms and your legs in a sequential manner to check for any reduction in blood pressure or blood flow in the legs. It is very simple, inexpensive, and does not need any kind of invasive techniques. At Cardiovascular Consultants, we are keen in having a comprehensive management of cardiovascular disease. We will work with you in preventing cardiovascular disease, managing it with medication, and only think about intervention which is needed. Our cardiologist will discuss with you the results and always make sure you don't leave the room without having a full understanding of what is the plan of therapy for you. Again, this is Dr. Sam Kazia, Cardiovascular Consultants. I hope that this session has given you a glimpse of what is peripheral disease and what can we do about it here at Cardiovascular Consultants.